We the jury in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April 2021 at 1 44 p.m. Signed juror four person, juror number 19. And with that, yesterday a jury reached the verdict that former officer Derek Chauvin is guilty on all counts for the death of George Floyd. That includes second degree murder, which you just heard, as well as third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. The jury took 10 hours over two days to reach a verdict as the whole nation waited. Alexa Green joining us now from our newsroom. Alexa, a lot to get to there. Let's start with the reaction to that guilty verdict. Well, Scott, good morning to you. From New York City to Minneapolis to Seattle, Americans of all ages, races, and religions, they came together to reflect on this guilty verdict, but say we still have a long way to go. The family of George Floyd, they broke down in tears as they heard all three guilty counts. Floyd's brother says this is only part of a much bigger issue, one that goes back be it before George, George's death. He went on to say the struggle for justice for black people in America, it remains an uphill battle. We have to protest because it seems like this is a never ending cycle. Following that verdict, President Joe Biden called the Floyd family while they were still in the courthouse. During that call, the president said he's been watching every second of the trial. Hours later, Biden spoke to the American public, saying the verdict was a giant step forward for the nation in the fight against systemic racism, but that it's not enough. No one should be above the law. And today's verdict sends that message. But it's not enough. We can't stop here. The president then called on Congress to act swiftly to address police reform, including by approving a bill named in honor of Floyd. Following that verdict, Chauvin's bail was revoked and he was taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs. A lot of questions, though, this morning. A lot of people asking what comes next. The judge is expected to sentence Chauvin in about eight weeks. He could face up to 40 years behind bars. His lawyer, though, is expected to appeal.